In this Tyrannus video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about setting up a mix in the radio that combines two inputs. In this case, the elevator and the aileron. Now, this is particularly useful if you're going to do something like set up a flying wing, and it's a great way for us to introduce some of the more advanced concepts in the mixes menus in the radio. The mixes menus, along with some of the other functions, make this a fantastically powerful radio, and as part of the series, I'm keen that we get into some more complex complicated things later on, but for now we're going to focus on setting up a flying wing. Now to make this video a little bit easier to shoot, what I've done is actually created a little flying wing model with a couple of 5 ground servos on the top, controlling our control surfaces at the back. I've already got the radio set up, for the, so we have the ailerons and we have the elevator, so hopefully you can see that moving. And what we'll do is we'll go through and actually set up the model again on the radio in one of two ways. We'll use the wizard and then we'll go through it and we'll set it up manually. So the first thing we need to do is to go and create a new model on the radio and start from scratch. So let's do that first. So we're going to go back into the main menu and we're going to create a new model. So we'll pick an empty slot and we're going to press and hold enter. I'm going to click create model and it's going to ask us what kind of model we want. Now the nice thing is, is we can actually just select the flying wing and hit enter, and it'll ask us if it's got an engine. We can say yes or no. Uh, I'm gonna say no on this for the demo because we don't have a throttle channel set up, but if we did, it would default to one. So I'm gonna hit enter, say no. I'm gonna hit the page again. It says, select the Elevon channels, channel three and channel two. I'm actually gonna change the first channel to be channel one. So there we go. The left hand servo is going to channel one. The right hand servo is going into channel two. Hit page again. Has your motor got a rudder? Absolutely not. Ready to go, press and hold enter. So there is our new model, model 05. So if I click on page, we can change the name, all the other bits and pieces, but we're going to go through and have a look at the mixer settings. So there's our standard for inputs that we always seem to get when we create a model. The throttle goes to the throttle channel, aileron to aileron, elevator to elevator, and rudder to rudder, all at 100%. Next job then is to go into the mixers, and here we can see the clever stuff. So channel one actually has two mixed inputs. It has 50% of the elevator and 50% of the aileron. And similarly, so does channel two. But interestingly, the aileron is actually at minus 50%. And that's because we want the elevator to behave the same way on both channel one and channel two. So if we pull the stick back, both of the flaps rise. If we put the stick down, both of the flaps fall, etc. And then we also want the aileron to actually work in a different way. So each side is rotating differently, which is why we have a 50% here and a minus 50%. We need to connect it up to the model to see whether or not this is going the right way, because this is assuming a couple of things, and assuming stuff, as we know, is always dangerous. We are probably going to have to change one, if not two, of the polarities of these 50% mixes. So let's just zoom out, we'll connect the model up, and we'll just see how well the radio has guessed how we have our servos connected. So what we'll do is we'll actually have a little insert up here in the top left hand corner of the wing itself. So as we're going through here, we can actually see how it's all working. So the first thing we need to do is to go back and actually have a look at how we've set this up. I'm gonna click menu, I'm gonna go back to mini wing, I'm gonna hit enter, Select model, there we go. So now we have control of our mini wing. So the first thing we're going to do is just show you how the mixes can be checked. So we're gonna hit page until we get down to our mixer settings. There we are. And at the moment, if we pull the elevator back, we can see that that's all working right. So as I push the stick down, the both the flaps go down, pull the elevator back, both the elevators come up, and the ailerons are working right as well. Fantastic. So let's just delete 
all of these mixes and start from scratch. So here we have our, and if you press and hold page, it'll take you back up the menu. So we're on page six of 12, press and hold it. We go back up to the inputs, which is five of 12. And we know that we have the aileron and rudder set up. So I'll click page again. First thing we're gonna do is add the elevator to output one and two, which is where the servos are plugged into. So we're gonna hit enter. We are not gonna bother with a mix name. We're gonna go down though, and we're gonna set the, the source to be the elevator. There we go. And we're also we're not going to change the percentage to 50% because we want 50% of the elevator and 50% of the aileron to make the elevons on the back of the wing. So we're going to hit enter and we're going to dial that down to 50%. We're not bothered about the direction or anything else yet. We're just being very simple for the first part of the setup. So there's the first mix. We're going to go down to channel two and we're going to add the same thing. Now we could actually go down here and copy it all and do the same again. Or what we could do as a shortcut is come up to the top and hold enter, say copy, and move that down onto channel two and hit enter. So there we are, elevator is now on both channels. So if I now pull the elevator back, you can see on the wing that the servo connected to channel one is going the wrong way. So we can fix that very quickly. We'll go back up to channel one. We'll edit that channel. And this time we'll make the 50 to minus 50, which will change the direction. Now you can either do plus or minus, oops. You can either do plus or minus to change the number or the shortcut for changing the polarity is just press and hold the plus and minus keys together. So now it's minus 50. So now we can see that the elevator is working perfectly. Fantastic. Okay, next thing we need to do then is we need to add the aileron to that channel. So what we're gonna do is press and hold, enter. We're gonna say insert after. And here we are, we're still on channel one. We're going to make the source the aileron. And again, we're going to make it 50%. Come out of that. Now we should find that the left side is responding to the aileron. And again, we can very easily just select the aileron, say copy, move it down and pop it underneath the elevator on channel two. And now we have the aileron moving as well. Now the way the aileron should work is that if I go to the left, the left aileron should come up. So those are the wrong way round. So to change that round, we'll edit, change the polarity of 50%. We'll also do the same on the other one. And now we can see that the aileron and the elevator is working in the right way. And that's how you set up the simple mix for a flying wing. So hopefully that helps those of you that are looking at this. Stay tuned for other videos in the series where we'll be doing other custom mixes for subscribers. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless 360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.